Hey guys, so Lord here, back in with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Ghostbusters Plasma Series Dr. Raymond Stance, brought to us by the fine folks over at Hasbro as well as my good buddy Evil Villain. Click the link in the description below and give him a follow on ye old Instagram. Let him know Overlord sent you. And as always, don't be a jerk or I'll bust your ass, bitch. That said, unlike the Peter Venkman review I did earlier today, check that out if you haven't already. Would really appreciate it if you did. I'm not going to dwell on my lack of Ghostbusters knowledge. We're just going to cut right to the chase and get into the meat and taters of this review and take a look see at all Raymond Stance has to offer in terms of accessories, starting off with the Proton One. Once again, this actually plugs in a little bit tighter than uh, Peter's, so uh, there is that. It is the same, though. It's the same mold on all the Ghostbusters. I mean, not sure why it would be different on any of them, but you know, you never know. And we also get his goggles. Which are a bit tricky to get over his head. Um, I would advise being slow and steady with these so you don't tear the strap. I know some people have messed up the uh, goggles that come on G.I. Joe classified figures. I actually made the mistake of putting these on Peter Venkman's head. But their heads are almost the same size. So it did stretch them out. But it didn't damage them or anything like that. It didn't stress them out or anything. That and it's still warm where i'm at in upstate new york here because i am recording these ghostbusters plasma series reviews during the summer I'm a little bit ahead on my spooky season videos if you haven't noticed uh mentioned that in the universal monsters neca videos from last week so taking a closer look at raymond stance here very nice likeness to uh, mr dan Aykroyd there so you could do a Blues Brothers custom if you wanted. Plenty of sunglasses you could throw on that mug and maybe a fedora. Fortunately, there's no, uh, is it Jim or John Belushi? Uh, head sculpts we could use. I always get the two mixed up. I know one of them was on SNL and did a shit ton of live action movies. The other one was a voice actor in uh, Gargoyles. He played one of the cat mutants, uh, Fang, the brown one there. So, uh, that said, as far as Raymond Stance's articulation goes, he does have the same double ball peg that, uh, Venkman had. He does also have the T-jointed shoulders that can go out. He does have that swing back and forth. That butterfly joint there. His arms will rotate all the way around. He's got a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. Which again, very tight. And yeah, they are pinned. These are not pinless joints. So these are going to stay stiff for quite some time. Uh, he does, again, have the appropriate hinge on the grip hands. You can also rotate. I don't think these pop out, do they? No, not really. Just gave it a slight tug there. That's what she said. And uh, yeah, nothing. So... Um, so don't break your toys and try to pull the hands out because they don't really come out. At least don't do it without using some heat or something. Uh, as far as the diaphragm goes, if we can get his arms in a T-pose here. Uh, he does have the proton pack. Again, I already attached it because these are a bitch to get on here. But uh, he does have that rocker. A little bit of tilt, a little bit of swivel. Again, that peg's got a little bit of flex to it, but that's fine. Nothing crazy there. He does have a gut, too, which I thought Bill Murray had a gut. Not uh, Raymond Stance, but uh, I guess Raymond is uh, packing some extra pounds here. That said, as far as the hips go, kick out. Out. Again, a little better than Spider-Man. Got a thigh cut, but that looks kind of janky due to the um, pant sculpt there, which actually, let me see. Got 
it's uh, Peter here. And uh, as you can see, I actually attached the uh, Proton wand to his backpack there. But uh, I think they have the same arms and legs, with the exception of the lower legs being different on him. Because uh, on top of the fact that he does have the double jointed knee, Gives you a pretty deep bend. He does not have a boot swivel, but he does have the boots. So that kind of sucks. I would have liked a boot swivel. And on uh, Peter here, I guess they could have put some uh, ball hinge ankles. As far as the feet go, they do hinge forward and back, though. And you get a good enough rocker. Once again, the peg holds the bottom of the feet, but they are a little bit uh, too shallow for the handy dandy McFarland Toys hockey puck display stand. So you have to figure something else out there uh, that said you can see the peg on the side for the proton wand here as well as the peg hole in the bottom so you can store it uh, that said though that is Raymond stance in a nutshell I almost said Peter Venkman again so getting him centered here so we can move right along and take a look at some size comparisons First up, here is good old Raymond Stance alongside his fellow Ghostbusters teammates. We got Peter Venkman, who we looked at earlier today, as well as Egon Spangler, who we will be looking at tomorrow. And as I mentioned in the Peter Venkman review from earlier, the three of them look great together. And don't worry, we'll get to Winston, not leaving him out. So getting these two out of here. Bring in our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus, whose mace will hopefully not pop off again. Phew, didn't. And one thing I neglected to mention in my uh, Peter Venkman review is that this is more like Star Wars Black Series. It's a true six-inch scale. So if we bring in the infamous Unkur 11 Spawn here, you can see that he... Towers over everyone more than usual because he's off screen and Raymond Stance ain't even up to his shoulder. I mean, he's barely to his shoulder, I guess. But um, before this gets ugly, because I don't think these two savage looking figures are going to get trapped by these guys' tech anytime soon, why don't we cut it here and wrap things up with some final thoughts. Overall, and as I said before in the Peter Venkman video I did earlier today, this is shaping up to be quite a little collection of Ghostbusters figures, and good old Raymond Stance here is no exception, albeit with the fact that there is still a sheer lack of accessories. That's just a thing with this line. I mean, yes, he comes with the goggles, but again, when we get to the Winston video, you're going to see something that maybe all these guys should have come with. Again, the Ghostbusters, not so much the Ghosts. That wouldn't make sense. That said, it still has the really nice quality of the Plasma series going for it, as well as the uncanny likeness to Mr. Dan Aykroyd. So there is that at least. Although I will say, I would have liked a boot cut on these guys, but I digress. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.